Hi, I'm Brian Buckaloo from Provision Studios, and today I'd like to make a video that is in response to several emails I have received lately um, about uh, how to create a print track, and um, I'm going to go through step by step here today. We're in Pro Tools, and uh, the, the concept of this is we want to take a, uh, a, a song that we recorded created or maybe even received from a client and we want to create an in session bounce down or mix down of uh, the song that may have uh, compression, EQ, limiting, delay, whatever, reverbs. Uh, we want to make, we want to print those effects onto the track so that we have sort of a a stereo mix down or a stereo master or even just maybe to release some resources this would apply to any one of those situations and it's real simple to do first thing we are going to do is we're going to import an audio track so I'm going to go file import audio and I'm just going to select this audio track right here new track okay so here we got it fine all right let's make pretend that's your song okay it's real simple the 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 uh, clip I have here is not the point. That is, that really has nothing to do with what we're trying to accomplish. I'm just using it as an example or a reference. Okay, so right now its output is um, my main out. Okay, which is fine for right now. First thing we want to do after we've brought in our audio track or the song that we want to create a print uh, version of is we want to add a stereo auxiliary input we want to name that print bus what we're going to do with this track is on our mix window we are going to go to the IO right here and we are going to go to the bus and we are going to select bus 1, 2, or whatever bus you have available. Then we are going to right click on that, and we are going to go to rename, and I'm going to rename this print bus. Okay. Now, I'm going to select the output, which is the bottom of the two, of my audio track. right here I'm going to go to bus and I'm going to go up to print bus alright so now my audio track is routing into my print bus which is going to my main out okay that's fine for right now next step I'm going to create an audio track Stereo audio track. Move this right down here. That's just to keep the uh, my flow. Right, I'm going to call this print track. All right. Oh, back over to the uh, mix window. I'm going to go to my I/O section again, and for the input, I'm going to select bus again three four. I'm going to right click on that, go to rename, and name this print track. Okay. So now I have the audio track coming in, going out to the print bus. The print bus coming in, going out to, I want it to go to my print track. So on the output, I click on it, go to bus, and go to print track. All right, so now my print bus is feeding my print track, which is then going out to my main out. Perfect. Finally, I want to create a 
master stereo master bus which is my main out so again following the the the, the chain I have audio track going to my print bus print bus going to my print track print track going to my main out which is my master fader so I can gauge everything that is going on in my audio path here in these windows right, you can see where we're at now obviously the first thing that's going to come to mind is well where's the audio okay the reason why we're not hearing any audio is because uh, we have not enabled the print track to record what is happening here is all the audio is being fed into the print track but if the print track is not armed we're not going to hear anything So we go to track input only monitoring. This is key. Input only monitoring, you will see a green light come on underneath of the track record enabled light. You'll also see it down here. This green light is very important. Input monitoring enabled allows you to hear the audio when you are not recording, but you do have the audio track enabled. This is a step that I do believe several people have missed because they have been telling me they could still not hear the audio coming through the channel or through this setup that we have here. This is why if you do not have track input monitoring enabled, it'll look like this, input mon only monitoring, the green light is off, you will not hear any audio. You have to go track, input only monitoring, there's your audio. Okay, and at that point, you can just arm for record and go. And here is our... Now that is a stereo print of our audio. Again, I'm not going to get into plugins and all that right here, but basically what we would do is on our print bus, you would instantiate whatever whatever plugins it is that you're wanting to put in. Let's say you're wanting uh, compressor limiter, maybe an EQ. Maybe you're wanting to put in your uh, your maxim down at the bottom. That would be how you would you would get that to work. Again, audio track out to print bus, print bus out to print track, print track out to your master fader. We have an audio track, an auxiliary track, an audio track, and a master fader. We are then arming the print track for record, and we are going to track um, audio input monitoring, making sure that's enabled, and we'll know it by there being a green light. If the green light is not on, that's how we know that the uh, input audio monitoring is not selected, and we won't we won't hear anything unless we are actually recording. That'll be good to show you here. Let me clear that. If we are, if we we got this armed for recording, if we go to record right now, we will hear the audio. <laughs> even though our input-only monitoring is not enabled. 
but if we just hit play, we won't hear anything. Again, we want to make sure that that is enabled. Green light on, green light means go. There we go. So now we can literally we can monitor the effects we're making, the changes we're making on our plugins in real time. All right, that's it. Um, I hope this helps clear up any kind of issues that you guys were having with not being able to hear your audio. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free email me. I, I try to answer every email as quickly as I can. I, uh, I, I look at this stuff daily. There's a lot of, I get a lot of questions, and I'm sorry if it takes me a while to get back to you, but I do try to answer every email. You can reach me, brianbuckaloo at yahoo.com. You can also reply uh, to this video, and I'll, again, I try to answer every email as they come in. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day.